Hey guys, it's Mr. Wahid al here back with another video. Today I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing the David Beckham Classic Touch. As you can see, uh, this is a 90ml version, it's a brand new fragrance. There you also have the, this is like a spin off, I guess, I don't know. It's another version. There's a David Beckham Classic and a Classic. Uh, I'll show you them right now. This is the David Beckham Classic. This is Classic Blue. And this is the Classic Touch. I'm gonna go ahead and open this in a second. Let me show you the box. Similar box design to all the rest, apart from this orange here. Very nice design, as you can see. David Beckham there, with like a bullet hole. I don't know what that is. David Beckham fragrances, go check it out. Ingredients, alcohol, aqua water, eau de perfume, eau de perfume, I mean. Benzyl, sickle, blah, blah. It's distributed by Cotti, like all perfumes are. This is 90 mil and it costs about 20 pounds, which is a decent price, you know. I'm going to go ahead and open this. Oh, Wow, look at that. Nothing else in the box. Pretty plain box inside. No design to it. And uh, the bottle's actually white, which I've not seen before. From a David Beckham. I've never seen it be white before. Look at that. That's going to be my thumbnail probably, by the way, guys. Looks nice, doesn't it? Let me zoom in on the bottle. So you got David Beckham there, classic touch. The stem inside is uh, orange, which is pretty cool. The lid is actually more black compared to these ones. Look at these. That one's nice as well, but look at that one. Damn, the definition on that. These have a blue color to it, orange color to it. This is just plain white. These stems are not colored, by the way. That's uh, something different that they've never done before. Pretty cool, I like that. I guess they stick to this normal design of this uh, Weird pattern to have, I don't know what the hell it is, but it feels good. Just lines, I guess. Same here, all the way around. And same design at the bottom. It's just uh, beveled out like that. And yeah, let's go ahead and open this. Okay, so where's the nozzle? There's the nozzle, wow. They've even put small accent there to make it orange. That's pretty cool of them. Let's go ahead and spray this. Oh my god, that is very nice. Uh, there's definitely some sort of lavender and apple in there. Can't tell if anything else is in there. Let me spray a bit more. It's a powerful smell, you know. I like it. It's definitely, it's quite masculine actually. I'm not gonna lie. I really like it. It, it smells nothing like the normal classics, though, the two classics, so this is good. But yeah, it's very fresh smell. I like it. Okay, I'll go ahead and tell you what's inside of this now. And put the lid on, make this professional. Bam! I would actually recommend this perfume, it's very nice. Look how nice it looks, guys. Alright, the top notes are apple, pear and grapefruit. I got the apple. Hot notes is lavender, iris and violet leaf. I smell the lavender straight away as well. That doesn't make sense. Ah, the smell is changing. It's a flowery smell, it's very flowery. I really like it though, it's masculine flowery smell. I don't know how they do it. Uh, the base notes are cedarwood, sandalwood, and leather. Wow, I really like this spray, guys. It's one of the best sprays I've ever smelled. Of the David Beckham range, by the way. <laughs> Not one of the best, you know what I mean. But yeah, I've seen reviews of it online, and they do say that it has a high longevity, which means it does last quite a while, compared to other David Beckhams. This series actually lasts quite a while, the classic series. Compared to the other series like the Instinct and stuff, and the Beyond, but yeah, I really like the spin-off version of it or whatever it is. Just another the product with the line, and yeah, go check out my other, go check out my other fragrance unboxings if you haven't checked them out already. Please subscribe to my channel if you're new. I'm going to be doing a lot more stuff for you. Please give me suggestions of stuff to review, videos to make if you want to see them, and I'll see you guys next time.